Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. First of all, I would like to thank all of you guys for massive support on the channel. We're getting 1000 subs every single day. So close to 100k. So if you're fresh, if you're new, and if you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you do. Anyways, in this video, we are gonna be basically continuing with Slayer and trying to get some really expensive drops. We're talking Whips, we're talking Trident, and I will also try to finish 99 range. Now, if I can get to Tridents, I will most likely look to swap them for 07 so I'm hoping I can get to tridents and I can get some swaps in so I can later on swap for better gear in deadman mode I hope that makes sense anyways let's get into the clips and enjoy the video good morning it is day three I just woke up as you can probably tell and I am now heading back to necreals for my range training yesterday I finished off 99 attack strength and defense and yes I could be ranging whilst chinning but my guardian angel didn't buy for over a mil and I don't really want to risk it so so I'm just gonna casually range while I do Slayer tasks, Alk at the same time, and at the same time we're also getting the Slayer levels that we need in order to do Krakens. So everything is just kind of working and going as intendedly pretty much. I changed my Sigils to Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger and Sigil of Consistency, and obviously Sigil of Devotion to keep gaining my prayer XP all the way till 99 pretty much. So combat level is 1 to 3, we're pretty much maxed, but the goal is obviously to reach 1 to 6. So that's where we are starting, and let's see how today goes so even though my range level is only 77 here i actually feel like this task is very quick even compared to like doing it with maxed melee simply because i always hit and when the relic procs it really helps out as well and i'm never really getting hit and i feel much safer actually ranging so i don't think it's gonna be too big of a problem to max out the range and magic this way obviously once i get to crack and the magic goes to 99 in almost no time there but the range is the one that's gonna take me a little bit of uh, of grinding to accomplish here Huge supply drop, a tier 5 emblem alongside Torstal Seeds and Mortmal Fungus, which is useless. But the tier 5 emblem, that's like 700k straight up. Very, very useful. Nice. We just received a brand new sigil. Sigil of Porcupine. I don't know what that does. So let's quickly check it out. So you recoil 4 damage to your attacker for every hit you take. The effect lasts for 30 seconds. It's basically a strong version of a recoil. Maybe we might be potentially useful in some situations, but I doubt it. I don't know. Maybe for like a tank, having a suffering stacking with this could be honest option. So yeah, there it is. Another sigil. Nice. A free task of a black dragon. Solid. All right. I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. So I'll kill maybe some uh, big ones and see if I can get a DFS. You never know, right? Could get really lucky. And it seems like I'm hitting quite nicely as well. Every single hit, basically. Just got a task of Drakes. And honestly, Drakes are quite decent because they have a small chance of dropping you Brimstone Boots, pretty much. However, getting there is fairly annoying. I'll see if there's teleports around the game. If I can just teleport there. If not, I might have to skip this one. But let's see. I found a way around it. I bought myself a Sigil of Versatility. Ended up swapping to an Arceus Spellbook. I can now teleport to are you fucking okay just nothing works strange power stops you from using this spell why would that be i don't know let's see if i first just needed to enter zia and then if i'm now able to teleport to battlefront yeah okay so that's why i couldn't do it i just never entered this area so there's a few things we're gonna do right now firstly we're gonna enter the bank change out this for the devotion so we can get higher prayer xp and then we're basically just gonna hope to get a i think it is a claw that i'm looking for so we can then create a brimstone boots that would be be ideal let's see if we can manage to do this just fine so the item we want to get from this is a drake's claw it is pretty rare but with four times xp rate it should be about one in a hundred and something it takes very long to kill one of these though but hey i'm getting range xp i'm relaxing it's gonna be just fine ladies and gentlemen i just achieved a level 85 slayer meaning we can now hunt a beastle demons very cool if we get those for a task at some point i'll definitely look forward to do some whips at the moment they're worth approximately a million so you know anyway would be very very useful a very long task no luck unfortunately but you know what i uh, will probably do this again that was fun next task will give us a ton of points so let's make sure we get a good one like the sigils are really op really op Ooh, black demons fellas let's go black demons with range should be quite fun actually 87 range by the way i mean kind of fast nice 88 range let's go huge absolutely massive for the account let's go wow 
I'm tired of PKers attacking me and not fighting back. We're gonna try to surprise some of them with a nice little max strength Gmol combo. But in order to get a nice little triple Gmol off, we're gonna need to put a handle on this thing so we actually have a fair shot of hitting high. We have another Archaic Emblem in our bank, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make sure there's no PKers in this vicinity. We're good. Put this in here, get rewards, and what is it? I think it's Ornate Mole Handle. Pretty damn expensive though, look at it. Very expensive actually, wow. Uh, but there it is. Buy the upgrade and now we should be able to double spec the Gmol, very cool. Oh, PKer man. Let me, okay, let's see how this goes then. Good luck, buddy. Let's see how it goes. That was slow. Let's see how many times he splashes on my gear. Thing is, I have high mage now, so he's probably gonna be splashing a bunch. Predictable VLS, not much I can do there if he hits that much through prayer, really. Kinda joke, man. This, these relics are really joke. Look at this, like, every time I got the prayer right, and he's hitting 30s, by the way. Like, what is this? Good fight, man. GG, buddy. 90 range. Nine more levels to go. Oh, supply drop, Wines of Zami, and anti-fire potions. Probably one of the worst supply drops, but you know what? It's fine, we'll take it. Yo, 99 hit points, let's go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now fully maxed in our combat stats. Well, well, I lied, okay? We still need uh, range and magic to go, but 1 to 4 combat, all of these are 99. Feels good, man. Let's finish off 99 range, though. Kind of want to get this one done as well. 85 prayer. <laughs> Woo, nice. Very good. Nice. Okay, the next task on the list, Aberrant Spectres. That's actually all right, I think. I think we'll be okay. 80, 86 Slayer. Okay, one more Slayer level and we can do some Kraken. So let's finish 99 range and then maybe I'll kind of combine those two and get them done at the same time. We'll see how long it'll take. Oh, Sigil of Aggression? What is this? Stats deal 20% more damage, but you also take more damage. That is really good. That probably goes for a lot of money. Nice. I finally got a useful one. Eating... Wait, what am I eating today? Pot Thai. And we just got 96 range. Here we go. Steel Dragoons. I don't want to do those. Abyssal Demons. All right, let's get a whip real quick. Supply drops. Mudrun White Berries. Not ideal. <laughs> yep, empty mod. <laughs> Bell, what is wrong with you? But eh, no, eh, there it is, <laughs> 97 range, nice. Two levels to go and I'm happy gamer. 86 prayer, all by doing nothing, nice. There it is, 98 range. One more level to go, Slayer is almost there. I think everything is just gonna kinda bounce correctly into each other. Very cool, honestly. Ooh, no, 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 woo! Oh, hit me here, please, real quick. Ooh, hoo, hoo, close. Very scary man, very scary man. Okay, let's reset a little bit. Ah, uh, really, again? And they really run in perfect timing. Impressive, really. I mean, he's probably gonna hop in again. Hello there. Yeah, what a surprise. I'm in a fairly dangerous area here, so. Hello there. Ah, really? Again? Ah, this time he might actually... Oh, never mind. I got lucky. No more training. All right, buddy. I've got a flick here, and we're gonna be friends. Hello there. Bro, but you are actually cringe, my guy. I don't know. Like, how awkward is this? There it is, 99 hit points, ladies and gentlemen, we've gone and done it. Now just one more range level to go. And the magic, once we get 87 Slayer, will be 99 in almost no time. That's pretty cool. Wait, was it 100? Apparently I didn't get 99, but I got level 100. I've, I've been 99 HP for over 1 million XP. I got 100 hit points. That's what happened. <laughs> well, uh... Slight confusion, let's call it. Slight confusion. Short-term memory loss. What it is, what causes it, and how to prevent it. Snapdragons and Cadentines. All right. Thank you. There it is. Abyssal Whip. It looks beautiful shining on the floor. And the prediction is, yes, we did. <laughs> we, did up end up, we did end up getting a whip. So I will come back here for 18, believe it or not. I'm just gonna go bank it. I've had a lot of encounters with PKers here. And I don't want to risk it. It's quite a valuable thing. So we'll see if we can sell it for something nice. Maybe buy some cool sigils. And uh, yeah, let's take it safe. Hello there. Bro, how hard are you sniping, man? Stop it. Oh, he went on the other guy. Never mind. He's gonna be here. He doesn't let me play the game. Okay, well, that's in the GE, so <laughs> if I get killed, no one gets the money. <laughs> okay, let's not die, okay? Hello there. Bro, he is still trying. How long are you gonna do this for? There it is. Another 99 on the account. 99 range. And uh, yeah, it's looking really good, honestly. I have four left of these to do, and I'm 60k away from Slayer, so I'll do one task with the just melee, most likely, and then we're gonna do Kraken, and we're gonna also get 99 magic based off that. So yeah, this is, this is really cool, actually. This is really cool. Another 99 on the account. Supply drop right before the ending of the task. I think I got like Onyx bolts 
there. Very cool. Sigil of the Remote Storage Bot, which means I can chop trees, mine rocks, whatever, with full inventory of food. This will be helpful once I need to get stats to qualify into 1v1s. Very nice. And my whip sold for 950k. If I were to swap this to 07, that would be about 20 mil 07 at this point in time. Even 30 mil 07. So, nice. We have the AFK sigil now. If I ever need to do something outside the game or play on a different account, I can just AFK like 99 woodcutting, for example. So, that is very cool, actually. Happy with that. And let's grab this cash as well. And I'm gonna try to buy more sigils, basically. Aberrant Spectres? Sure. Let's finish it off on the Abbey Specs. There it is. 100 strength. Wow. No way. Virtual level on RuneScape? Oh, big chungus. Here he comes. Let's go. Oh, this is perfect timing. It's gonna get me 87 Slayer. We spec it out. For 87 Slayer. There it is. What did I get? Dust Battle Staff and Archaic Emblem. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine, right? We can't complain with that. And there it was. 87 Slayer. We can now get assigned Hydras. I already pre-purchased a sigil that allows me to pick a task for 30 points. So we're gonna take two Kraken tasks most likely to finish off 99 Magic and to hopefully get some good drops. Pretty excited. I will still finish this task. I mean, why not? Because I don't want to just cancel it that I have no points left. So let's finish it and then move on to Kraken. Sigil of nature? I've gone so long without any drop. What is this? Farming contracts. No, it's useless. All right, I need to remind myself, do not take task when you leave the, the cave. Do not take task when you leave the cave because, yeah, I have the sigil. I can choose my own tasks now. So I'll obviously pick crack and don't do it. It's, it, I, I can, don't, good. I didn't do it. We're good. Time to train mage. It's the last skill I need, really. All right, I figured out what sigils I would want for my Kraken training, and it's gonna be the Sigil of Slaughter to pick my Slayer task, Sigil of the Menacing Mage, and Sigil of the Guardian Angel. So if I die, my bank stays intact. And attune all of those, attune all of those. Very cool, and uh, yeah, let's get at it, honestly. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see how this works. I assign myself, I like to spend points. <laughs> where, where are they, hold up. Cave Kraken, there it is. 119 and I'm not extending it first just because this way I'll be actually able to kill more of them So now I just need to go to GE gear up properly and get at it and hopefully get lucky All right, it is time. We're going to Kraken Therefore we need a rune pouch so we can cast our magic dart and not take away too much of the inventory spaces We're gonna use this emblem on the guy yet again And we're gonna not school but take rewards and buy a rune pouch Still a ton of points left that I could spend on Dude, I don't even know what I would want to spend it on actually There it is well, you asked and it delivered. First Uncharted Trident. Those go for a lot on 07 right now. Let's see if we can get any buyers. But first, I'll just keep being here because I just started the trip. But there it is. That's the first one. On the two, I'll bank on the two probably. Ooh, that was a magic level. 88 magic. 89 magic. There it is. The second Trident, ladies and gentlemen. That is a lot of money. I don't know how much money yet, but that is a lot of money. It's 1.5 million dead men. The swap rate is 1 to 25 to 1 to 30. So it's all about just getting the right buyer. However, taking these to safety right now, no reason to risk them right after this crack and kill. I'm basically having, what, 3 mil on me right now? Oh my god, I got back-to-back -back tridents! Go! Go away! Go! <laughs> okay, well, yeah, nah, no way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nah, that is not real. I can sell that for so much money, I think, as well. That's... <laughs> oi, oi, oi. We are now using trident to train, so XP per hour is gonna go down by a lot, but the spill at... Uh, the spill? The speed at which we kill the Kraken is gonna increase by a lot. So look how much, like that's probably like three times faster I killed that little Kraken there. And that's basically the idea. Kill them as fast as we can, make as much money as we can, as fast as possible. And the casts are not that expensive. Chaos runes are cheap, fire runes are cheap, death runes are really cheap. So it's like a perfect scenario. I am, however, risking around probably like what, 35 million 07 if I were to get killed. But I think my shots as escaping here are fairly decent. Comparing the XP I'm getting with Trident in comparison to a magic dart. I was getting about 2.6 million there and I'm getting about 1.3 million here. So I still should be done in seven hours. I might even bring Alks in the future here to speed it up. But in comparison to the other one, it's basically just half the speed, but it's much faster to actually kill the Krakens this way. There's 90 magic. Very cool. Nine levels to go. Quite a long time to finish it, but pretty excited to get closer to it. Ooh, Archaic Emblem. Tier 5. Big. Guys, Archaic Emblem. There it is. That's two. In one task. In one trip, actually. And supply drop on top of that. There is another archaic emblem. 
What the hell? 91 magic. Can the task please be done? I don't have inventory space for this. I've been on zero for so long. This was an absolutely phenomenal task. Ended up getting three archaic emblems. This task, which is really good, that can be like, what? Almost 2.4 million. I'll probably cash this in if I die, I would assume, or if I like really need the money. Let's say if I were to die and lose my guardian angel sigil, I will probably cash this in and try to get enough money to get another guardian angel sigil. That's what I'm thinking right now anyways. And yeah, I don't know. All right, the first trident is going to rank one slayer and we're selling it for 30 million 07. Now it could probably go for a little bit more, but I have three of them. So I wanted to get this here as fast as possible. He gave me 30 million 69, 69, 69. Very good price. I will gladly take the extra tip. And now we give him the trident on deadman mode. And here we're giving one of his friends a trident because he's currently mid hydra. But there it is. Very cool. Happy with that trade. And now I can move on and do more. Uh... <laughs> he's actually in my CC. How crazy is that? Right. And uh, yeah, we're basically just gonna probably take another Kraken task. But first, I kind of want to chill. Thank you very much for watching this video today. I really hope you guys did enjoy. And if you made it this far, consider giving a video a like. And please subscribe. We are almost at 100,000 subs. It would mean a world to me to reach it. Honestly, I've been uh, I've been very close for a very long time. Let's put it that way. Uh, but if we quickly flick on the stats, you can see that we have progressed insanely nicely. There's a lot of things I still have to do in the upcoming days and a lot of PVMing I still want to do. Uh, but on top of that, I'll also start working on an alternate account that I can do God Wars with and be really strong in a specific bracket. More on that in the following days. Once again, if you want to see that, please subscribe. Honestly, consider turning notifications on as well. If you haven't yet, you know how it is. You know how it is with YouTube. Notification these days. Notification these notifications these days are everything, really. All right, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.